lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon and rising this is going to be uh, again like i said a uh, love reading for those of you guys that are new to my channel every beginning of the month i do general readings and for those of you guys that are interested in love uh, i usually upload at the middle of the month i do want to apologize as i have been a little backed up because i've been extremely busy with um you know anything from spell work to private consultations uh in person readings etc so i hope you guys understand anyways let's get into this reading without further ado this is going to be for sagittarius let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of january 2018. my sagis let's see what spirit has for you guys Okay, so for your cards, whoa, for your card, Sagittarius, you have the Ten of Swords, the Tower card, your partner's cards is the Eight of Wands, the World card, the Five of Swords, and central issue is the Wheel of the Year. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, let me bring this down a bit so you can be able to see. All right, Sagittarius, your central issue is the wheel of the year. The wheel of the year is a representation of, uh, you know, basically the wheel is turning at the present time regarding your love and romance. Uh, this could be good, this could be bad, uh, depending on pretty much what we have put out in regards to our partnerships. Uh, the Wheel of the Year definitely represents the ending cycle and the beginning of something new. Obviously, we are in January. Um, but again, as a central issue, this usually represents uh, to be mindful and be careful about, uh, again, like I said, what we put out or the intentions of what we approach or the actions behind um, our intentions behind the actions that we do. So be very careful in regards to anything that has been kept or has been hidden. Uh, you do have here um, the Ten of Swords here. And the Ten of Swords, this is how you're viewing the situation or how you're viewing your partner. Now, the Ten of Swords could, in fact, represent uh, ending of a relationship, perhaps uh, perhaps for some of you guys. Uh, recently, uh, there was a breakup or a separation that came unexpectedly. You were not expecting this. It kind of shook Um your core basically um you are being uh, in the process of transformation so uh, the tower card could be a bit of a a bit challenging depending on the cards that fall next to it but because you do have the ten of swords this is talking about definitely an ending cycle so for a lot of you guys you guys are experiencing separations um uh you know the breakage of a relationship um something that could be catastrophic to what our perception is so an example if you had been with a person for over 10 years and it seemed solid it seemed um you know whether it was married or whether it was living with that person uh your world has been shaken um without a doubt because this ten of swords definitely represents um you know the the hurt um it's almost a reflection of the pain that is left after destruction uh with the tower next to it is definitely symbolizing the ending cycle of something and the high priestess here is definitely talking to you about um the things that have been hidden or were hidden from you are now starting to come to light uh and this is obviously in reference to your partner because Again, these are your cards and how you perceive your partner uh, and the situation at the present time. Now, with the Wheel of the Year, again, like I said, a lot of things that have been hidden from you are definitely coming out to light now. Um, and again, for those of you guys that have experienced recently a breakup, again, um, the Ten of Swords and the Tower is already manifested. It's already happened. Uh, for those of you guys have, who have not experienced it as of yet, or something that has been earth shattering, uh, very shaken in this process. Um, know and understand uh, to be mindful about it. The cards are definitely telling you to uh, prepare yourself to 
see things in a very different different aspect. Um, everything you thought about or what your perception was in reference to the person that you're with um, might be challenged for the middle of the month going into February. Now you here with the high priestess, this is definitely talking about hidden things, things that have been kept from you and the destruction of lies and coming all to light. Again, the wheel of the year <clears throat> could represent, um, it is vice versa because it is a general reading. So if this is not your partner, then this is you who's bringing this type of energy to your partner. So my suggestion is be honest, be upfront, uh, be cutthroat almost in your communication and being honest if you do feel that you've been, you know, stepping out of a relationship. If you get caught, do not deny it. Um, again, like I said, accept the responsibility of the actions behind whatever intentions you did. Um, ultimately, whether this is the end of the relationship or not, uh, you don't want to come off as a person that uh, denies everything even after having proof. So uh, my suggestion is, um, again, try the best you can to don't challenge. If this is you, Sagittarius, that is dealing with these things coming to light from your partner, uh, don't challenge it. Don't resist it. Um, I know it sounds, you know, easier said than done, but there is a reason why there's an ending happening. Okay. And whatever your perception was, whether you thought, uh, that you were somewhat happy, you know, and I say somewhat very lightly, I feel that for those of you guys that are currently experiencing this, it was almost like, you were dealing with it and you were okay with it, but because you thought that things cannot change or they wouldn't change and having to deal with this type of uh, chaotic energy uh, coming into your life, it's almost like, you know, you've been dealing or putting up with a lot of things and this is basically uh, the last straw. So again, like I said, um, whether it's good or whether it's bad at the end of the day, if this is you, the one that's been, you know, doing things you weren't supposed to do, stepping out of the relationship or whatnot, um, you're going to be faced with the consequences of doing things that, um, you know, you thought were easy or temporary, they would go away. Um, this can also represent, uh, you know, gambling in regards to a relationship and not really thinking and taking action um, for something temporary again, like I said, and it comes back, uh, it comes back and it comes back to light. The person you thought was temporary doesn't want to go away. Uh, they start basically shaking your life and the idea of what your partner seen or thought of you is going to completely change. So again, like I said, the best, uh, advice I can give you guys is be strong in this process and do not resist the changes because, Obviously here you have a lot of major arcana. So this is something that is necessary to happen. Uh, this is not an everyday type of energy. Uh, these are energies that have been brewing, have been happening. Uh, and this is the culmination of it. Now for your partner's cards is the eight of wands and the world card. Um, perhaps the person that you're dealing with Sagittarius uh, recently uh, could have been a person that was married and you recently found out that they were married. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been something unexpected. Again, with the tower here, uh, you weren't expecting it and they kept this from you. It was hidden. Um, and because of this, you know, chaos has uh, arose, you know, and confrontation. Um, nonetheless, again, like I said, do not, you know, resist this process. Um, it is necessary for your growth. It is necessary. Um, you know, universe is trying to teach you something. And when this happens, uh, the best thing to do is take it for what it is and be strong in this process. Uh, your partner is definitely seeing you as a person that is wanting uh, to start um, arguments or to start, uh, you know, this could even be uh, you, Sagittarius, that you were messing around with someone that was married and you knew about it. Uh, perhaps they lied to you or misled you thinking that, uh, you know, they would leave their wife or husband and it turns out that they don't want to. And this is you being a bit vengeful or 
wanting to get even. But again, like I said, be very careful as everything you put out will definitely come back and um, not to the best of your interest, okay? So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, again, the 10 of swords and the tower is definitely talking about the self-destruction of something or a perception. This could even be the idea of what you thought love was. And the high priestess here is giving you guidance, uh, letting you know, sometimes, you know, we don't want to see what it is that we do um, or the things we need to work in, uh, work at in regards to relationships, whether it's being over uh, protective, whether it's being possessive, whether it's being the jealous type, whatever it is, uh, spirit at the present time is guiding you through this process of almost going through the process of elimination, uh, coming to, coming to, uh, light things that perhaps you, you weren't even aware that you would do, um, because it was so natural to you that now you're starting to be challenged, uh, in reference to dating or getting to know someone, perhaps you've been feeling like the person you've been dealing with for quite a while or communicating back and forth. This could also be social media connections. For those of you guys that uh, have been dating or talking to someone that is through social media, um, you could this could represent you finding out that they are actually married or that they were keeping things from you. Um, so again, it, it's all about, this is a very conflictive type of energy. Nonetheless, uh, instead of going the the vengeance way or trying to get even or trying to uh, create more problems in that person's life because they misled you. Uh, take the high road on this because again, like I said, I do see that things can get a bit more complicated for you and it, it's not wise when uh, the current situation is the wheel of the year. It's not wise to uh, do things out of spite because you will have to deal with the consequences of it very quickly, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. Um, I genuinely send all of you guys light and love. I hope you guys um, can get through this process. And again, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, if people mislead you or lie to you or deceit you, um, the best advice that I can give is, not so much of, you know, do the vengeance type of thing where you create, you know, hell for that person because ultimately there's other people involved and sometimes they are innocent in this process and it's people that just like you didn't deserve to be deceived or lied to. Um, so I hope that this can help you in this process that you're going through at the pro uh, the you know, at the present time. Anyways, um, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other in the beginning of the month. Okay. Bye.